Бой начинается. Hey guys, this is 007 here. I'm looking again at my replay files. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the 140. Probably be doing a video on this tank. Uh, I will be pulling out a brief announcement. Uh, I will be making this a part of the tank files, uh, season one. This will actually be a, uh, actually no, maybe not season one. I'll be, uh, making a video, series of videos actually, to cover the Russian medium question. What is the best Russian medium tank? The one that you should be going for, the one that you need. And this kind of resurfaced my, uh, intentions of making one. The only problem right now is, in my arsenal currently, I do not have the Object 430, so... That would be a bit of a delay to tell you what would be the best to get. But that should be coming on. But anyways, with today, you can see that I'm platooned with my colleagues in their artillery pieces in a scout and shoot operation. And currently in the 140. Now, my colleagues believe that this tank is overpowered and up until before this replay, I never really thought that they were really talking the truth. I did feel that there was some overpoweredness to it, but they really felt it was a broken piece of, you know, mech in this game that just truly did not belong here. It was ridiculous. It goes totally against what the Russian tanks are known for. And basically, when you, what you get with this tank is you get ungodly accuracy not only stationary, but on the move. So you were able to keep yourself moving, making yourself a hard target, and putting the shots off and hitting your targets on the move. Closing the distance, outmaneuvering them, overwhelming them. You know, truly a fantastic, you know, idea. But why would a Russian tank deserve that? I think, personally, the Leopard 1 deserves that. Its mobility, it's better accurate stationary than the 140 is, and so is the C62A, but they're nowhere as accurate as the 140 is on the move. It feels like this thing was a main battle tank in this game. It's the closest thing I feel like it is a main battle tank in this game. You might say the 430, but honestly, I think this tank has what the Russian tanks don't have, and that's gun depression. And that truly makes it, in my eyes, better than them. Just in the pure shooting quality and opportuni opportunistic quality. Now you can see that we've started out the game pretty slow. 956 damage, but surely we'll be able to change that. Here, at least do your hit points or more. And you can see in the top, uh, our hit log reading 1700 damage so far as we overpower that 5120 stickly by himself. You can see right there on our on the killing. Uh, those T57 heavies on the enemy team, those guys are going to be the biggest. Um, hey, right there, just on the move. Managed to strike his plate. We, we ricocheted, but the idea of just being able to hit your target is just unfathomable. Now I'm I'm feeling the heat of the engagement here, and I'm feeling that we need to get out of here. So basically, pull the horses. It's a bit surprising that the fire went off, considering that we have a. 12% chance to catch a fire, but engine was struck and that was just luck to, you know, luck to draw. This game was probably the most RNG crazy game I've ever seen with this 140. I mean, yes, hitting a move, that's kind of expected when you're driving a 140. But when you're driving, you know, you're getting bounces that you shouldn't be, or hitting targets that you should have never been able to hit. You know, 
things like that. That game, this game was probably the biggest example of that. It just doesn't explain anything to me. How this game just plays broken. But, yeah. Now you can see we're working the enemy down. Uh, it's slowly just not really improving. We have the superior numbers. And I'd arguably say we have the superior uh, skills. Um, this game is pretty close. Too close to call and all that. Um, some moves that are pretty questionable by our team. But the biggest thing that I saw in this game was how crippled 140 just becomes when it goes its engines out. That 55 kilometers per hour speed no longer available just absolutely destroys this vehicle. And, well, you kind of get frustrated with that, and I was pretty frustrated this game. I was cussing and swearing the entire time this game. This was just absolutely a killer. When you have a tank that's so mobile, I mean, not exactly as mobile as the 62A. It is faster, but, you know, you have expectations when you run a medium tank. And that's the biggest thing with medium tanks. The biggest problem they have is they have to stay healthy in order to be at their finest hour. And just an engine, an AMRAC is the biggest thing that goes out on this thing. If the AMRAC goes out, you just lost all effectiveness. No better than the tank. And, well, yeah. Uh, a bigger thing again with the medium tanks, considering how broken they are, I honestly don't think that the ammunition is a problem. I mean, the gold rounds, yes, I believe that's a big problem. 330 penetration is just... Ready here. Uh, of course, it's heat rounds. They will bounce. Ridiculous. But, you know, it's gold rounds. It'll go through anything. The APCR, 260 penetration. Really good. APCR, you know, the velocity value. High velocity. Pulls off, you know, really good hits. It'll hit the target. And that's the thing about this tank is you can auto-aim on this tank. On the move. And you have probably minimum a 70% chance of hitting your target. And now you can see that my colleagues have determined that it was time to uh, go all in and make the enemy pay the piper. But unfortunately, can't exactly help them. So that'll come to that. And basically, this turret turns really fast. Not as fast as the 62A. Uh, soon I'll be showing you another replay with the T62A shortly after this one. To try and give you another idea of how broken that tank is. But right now, the situation is not looking too brilliant. I mean, we do have the artillery, you know, by the pants. But yeah. interesting that. That HE round actually did 450 damage. Looks really weird because that was totally not ex expected. The HE rounds normally do 420 damage, so I was expecting the other HE round to finish them off. Typically, in that case, I'd probably not waste the HE round. Probably save it for the next one. Unfortunately, yes, our, our, our HE round failed to penetrate the artillery. Yes, and, uh. Yes, Unfortunately, we had a heat round loaded for him. Yes, sir, sir. He's protecting the 57 heavies. Uh, we can see that the opposing 57 heavies actually having a really great game right now. He's having seven kills, unchallenged. I don't know how he was able to reload and take out uh, my friendly artilleries. That was just that shocked me right there. That didn't make sense to me that he had managed to cut down more people and then cut down the artilleries on top of that. So. The reload times for the 57 Heavy must be really good, but, yeah. And you can see here I'm out of HE rounds, fired heat, one heat round, and halfway through my APCR rounds. Um, we've already rounded out to 45,000 damage this game, so it's been really good. Um, the bigger thing right here is I'm not really feeling the engagement. We are two against two, but the problem is the 57 Heavy can easily do the damage. He could, I can put one shot into him with his hit points remaining. 
The artillery, I'm just guessing he's already taken off to run back to the 57 Heavy. They're going to regroup and stay together, try and fight this out together. T95, I don't know what he was doing the entire game. He just was sitting there on the map. I know it's a T95, but at least he should have made some commitment whatsoever to get to me. It didn't really happen. Uh, biggest thing is, um, my colleagues actually convinced me that I should go and take the fight because chances are that 57 Heavy is going to try and flank me in the rear. So I agree, better take it from the front than the rear. But I did not expect this. So we got our first round off on the 57 Heavy. Ricochet him off the frontal We miss our hit. And he bounces off our turret. We shot into him. Our turret is going in and he missed. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know. So, let's look at the after battle stats. <laughs> so, we can see right here we just rounded up with a high caliber, a top gun, bruiser, duelist, fire for effect, second class mastery badge. It's a bit disappointing, I haven't gotten my ace tanker out of it yet. Have managed to get seven kills with 140. Pretty decent damage with it in that game, but yeah, we can see uh, we did a massive amount of damage to our opponents. Large of scale. Surprised we didn't get a Confederate medal. Um, we can see right here we finished on the top of our team in damage, obviously. Six kills, 1,108 XP. Rounded out with the two medals. Uh, our opponent, uh, seven kills for the 57 Heavy. Nice job to him. Unfortunately, he just... His RNG didn't play for him today, but that's the way it rolled. And really, after this game, I just, I was finally convinced the 140 is broken. So, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, right here, he pulled 16 shots off in his tank, so he's pulled, what, that's four clips of ammunition he's fired. Only two missed. Really unfortunate. Oh, sorry, no, two failed to penetrate, and those two rounds happened to be us. We were a one-shot kill for him, and he failed twice on us. I could not fathom that. He was he had the ability to kill me twice. Albeit, I did miss that shot. I probably, if it had hit, you know, would have been a different story. Wouldn't have been, this tank's broken. Uh, during the replay, you could actually see that uh, during the actual game, I thought I bounced twice off my frontal hole plate. I actually bounced once off my frontal hole plate. Bounced twice. The second shot bounced off my turret. And the location that he hit was actually really, really well armored. So, kind of fell back on the broken idea, but it's still broken in my opinion. 5,004 damage. 1,600 uh, damage done for more than 300 meters. 26 shots fired. 21 hits. And 19 penetrations. And our battle lasted 11 minutes, 1 second. Um, XP, this battle was really, really good. Damage blocked by armor was really, really good. Really adequate. Uh, we damaged 10 vehicles to our 6 kills. We spotted 3 vehicles, so it was fairly good. And other than that, pretty good. Um, nothing more I can say for that. But, yeah. So in the comments, I want to say, uh, argue your points. Do you think the 140 is broken, or do you, don't, do you think it's balanced? Or do you think it's underpowered, actually? Uh, argue that, or even argue for the cause of three medium, the three Russian medium tanks. Are they all broken, balanced? One do you think you th like the best? Uh, one do you think that I will think is the best? And, uh the upcoming tank files video for all three Russian medium tanks, so luckily if I don't get the third Russian medium tank, I'll find someone that does, and find someone that actually knows what they're doing with it, so look forward to that, and I'll be seeing you guys later.